Okay, we've had a look at recording touch drums and the smart drummer, and there is another way to create a drum track that is really effective, and it's an automatic beat generator or drum generator. It's called the virtual drummer. I'm going to hit the add track with this plus icon here. And if you're familiar with the Mac version of GarageBand, this is very similar to a drummer track uh, in the Mac um, OS X version of GarageBand. So here we can select uh, acoustic, electronic or percussion. In this instance, I'm going to select acoustic. And this will generate an automatic region for you. And we can then change the various elements um, and we can also change the drummer profiles. So let's have a quick listen to the default loadout pattern here. Okay, so that's a basic rock beat. We can change the drummer profile, which will also change the sound of the drum kit by hitting the uh, menu arrow on the top left hand corner. And you'll see there where it says Kyle. That is a drummer profile, a virtual drummer profile. So we can go through, um, these are actually updated um, on a fairly regular basis and they add new drummers in and new content, new drum kits. So you can see we've got different styles. We've got uh, um, rock, pop, alternative, R&B. We have electronic styles for hip hop and various electronic styles. I'm going to go to the acoustic styles and go down to one of these R&B Neo Soul. And then we can start changing the parameters of this beat by clicking on this little box here. And it's similar to the uh, Smart Drummer, but this is a global setting for all of the drums. It, we can make it louder, softer, more simple, more complex. And up in this corner, it will be loud and complex. Down in that corner, it'll be soft and simple. Let's have a listen to something that's loud and complex. Now that's soft and simple. I'm going to leave that right in the middle for the moment. Okay, so we can stop and start this just with the stop and the play button up the top there. There's the play. There's the stop. Um, now we can begin to edit other elements of this beat. We can change how many and how often uh, the drum feels occur. So up to the right will be more often and then that'll be no fills, drum fills at all. Let's pop that halfway up and that will add a drum fill probably every two or four bars. We can also change the patterns of the hi-hat and the kick and snare by clicking on the number there and holding down, pushing our finger down rather. So down to the left is more simple, down to the right is more complex. Let's select some more complex. These will change the actual patterns that are being played. Let's listen to this one. Okay. We can also add in some percussion by clicking on one of these icons here, the hand clap, the shaker or the tambourine. And we can change, uh, instead of the hi-hat, we can have a tom pattern or cymbal pattern. Um, so let's, I'm going to go with this shaker and the hi-hat. I'm going to change the kick and snare pattern down here, if it will let me to five, and let's have a listen. Okay, that will do for the moment. Now, it, um, unlike the Smart Drummer or Touch Drums, we don't actually have to record anything. If we go back to the track view, you'll see that that region is just there for us. Um, and there's a few things we can do with this region. Um, if I want to cut that in half, by grabbing the edge and making that only four bars long, I can then uh, make a copy of that. I can go copy and I have to paste, but I have to make sure that I've moved the playhead to the point where I want to paste it. I'm gonna click in an empty space on that same track and select paste. Now I'm gonna go back to the virtual drummer 
uh, interface by clicking this button right here. And we can now make changes um, on this one and this one, and they will be separate. So if I want a tambourine and hi-hats, and if I want more fills, I'm gonna swing, uh, get the fills up here. I'm gonna also change the symbol pattern to be more complex. Let's listen to how this will change. And this can be good if you've got a verse and a chorus it will be similar, similar beat because it's the same drummer profile um, and but it will be altered slightly the elements of that beat. So that's a fantastic way to add some variation uh, in your tracks. Now there's also um, the ability to have different playing profiles right here. The loadout for this particular drummer is called Lay It Down. But if I click on that, these are different player presets and it will change the style of the playing and it also change the tone of the drums. Let's select something else. I've never actually listened to this one before, Urban Suite. Let's see what that does. So these are different style presets. So you keep the drummer and it will just change the style of how they're playing. So feel free to go through there and have a good, uh, you know, experimentation with the different playing presets until you find something you really like. For the moment, I'm going to keep this on, lay it down, and I'm going to keep this how it is. So that is everything you need to know at this stage about the virtual drummer.